Hi everyone, my name is Nomi B. You might know me as your former Miss Gay Pride Long Beach 2018 and Latinx drag performer of Southern California. I've got Yuha Hamasaki with me from RuPaul's Drag Race. Hey everyone, it's me, Yuha Hamasaki, and you probably know me from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 10 and your local drag queen extraordinaire. I have joined forces with Community Action Partnership of Orange County as well as the LGBTQ Center OC. The description of the LGBTQ Center OC is the LGBTQ Center of OC advocates for individual rights and represents the policy and legislative interests of Orange County's LGBTQ community. Then the one for CAP OC is since 1965. Community Action Partnership of Orange County has worked to enhance the quality of life in Orange County of eliminating and preventing the causes and effects of poverty. To bring awareness about an issue that affects all of us here in the 2020 census. <laughs> but first, what is the 2020 census? Who's got an answer for me? Hi, Yiha. So the census is a population count of everyone living in the U.S. that occurs every 10 years. And since it's 2020, it's time again. So now more than ever, it is important for everyone to be counted in the 2020 census, especially with everything going on now. Yeah, we definitely need to be counted. Totally. But why is the 2020 <laughs> census so important for the LGBTQ plus community? And is there anything that we should be aware of? Thank you, Nomi B. Yes, very good question. It's an exciting and important time for the LGBT community. Uh, for the first time in census history, uh, we'll have the opportunity to identify a relationship as same sex in our responses. So as you can imagine, we, we really want to empower our LGBT community to fill out the 2020 census. This is, this is definitely a game changer for us and we, we must rise to the occasion. And granted, there are still long ways to go to make sure that everyone in our community is, is represented and accounted for. And, and we'll continue to make sure that more inclusive changes are made in the U.S. Census. But for now, let's all rise. Let's all make our voices heard and let's get counted. Let's queer this census. That's correct, Jackie. And remember, when we show up to be counted, we are demonstrating an opportunity that we can show up in a space that may have not been created for us. Amen. Let's take over. I love that. I agree more than ever that it is important that we make sure that everyone is counted for and represented, especially in something as beneficial as the census. How can we make sure that we queer the census? Well, Yuha, we have to make sure we're represented. Our community has a history throughout the census of being undercounted. And honestly, that's we don't want that anymore. We want to make sure that we're all counted, we're all represented, we have access to the same services and funding that other individuals have just by completing the census. It's so important right now, especially during these times, that if we want to contribute somehow, we fill the census. We go ahead and complete it. Yeah, so we know that although the census does not explicitly ask about gender identity or sexual orientation, LGBTQ plus people exist within all different populations that are undercounted and underserved. We welcome you to self-identify. It is important for you and me to be counted in the 2020 census to ensure that our communities have fair access to democracy and social services funding. Hey, we're part of this country too, and we need to be represented. Let's talk more about social services. How does completing the census help fund services that our communities access? Great question. More than $1.5 trillion in federal, to state, and local government is distributed to the census. Filling out the census means that services like the ones that the LGBTQ Center offers, such as mental health services, HIV, STI prevention, are still being able to be offered to the community. By you filling out the census, you're ensuring that these services that our community needs are still available for them. And Nomi, furthermore, here at CAP OC, the census affects everything that we do here and that we breathe, whether it be our OC Food Bank, which provides food resources for our family members, even at this crucial time, 
whether it be our utility services and energy services during emergency needs. Our community needs this. As we continue to grow as an organization and our family resource centers that pop up everywhere in Orange County, our children, our parents, our community are counting on all of us to fill out the census. <gasps> That's a lot of money. And it's incredible to know that just by filling out the census and making sure that every member of our household is counted so that we can fund these services that our community benefits from. You keep bringing up self-identity, but what does that mean when filling out the census? So with the limited choices that the census provides, queer and transgender people may find that their lives aren't exactly represented in the provided responses. Um, it's still extremely important that we let the Census Bureau know that we count and we're here. We want to empower to self-identify and answer the census as you see fit. Yeah, the Census Bureau doesn't cross-check the information you provide on the survey with any other source. So it's okay if you respond differently on the census than how you would normally answer on it an official government survey. Is the census confidential though? Yes, the census is confidential. The Census Bureau, which is tasked with conducting the census, is prohibited from sharing data identifying information from the census service with anyone. And by anyone, I mean ICE, police, landlords, and anyone outside your household, and even outside the Census Bureau. Yeah, Naomi, since the first census in 7090, Census Bureau employees have taken an oath that protects the confidentiality and your answers that you go ahead and fill out on the census. This oath has never been broken, so you can be sure that your answers are going to be safe and secure. Good, because I don't like none of those groups you just mentioned, please. Okay. But what about personal information? Does the census ask for my social security or my immigration status? How about how many relationships I've been in? Because it's really complicated. No, Yuha. The census doesn't ask confidential information such as your social security, you know, um, your immigration status, how many lovers you currently have, you're good on that end, how much money you want from All Stars 27, you know, you're good on that too. So all of that is <laughs> private. It's confidential. It's not going to be shared with anyone, any of your responses also. That is so good to know. And finally, how can we make sure that everyone is seen and counted on the 2020 census? Hi, Nomi. So there are three ways that you can get counted in the census. Uh, you can respond by mail, and that includes paid postage. You can also do it online at my2020census.gov or you can call 844-330-2020. Uh, uh, our organizations, CAP OC and the LGBTQ Center uh, OC are also available to the community if anyone needs help answering questions on the 2020 census. Love it. So many resources. We love resources. Yeah. Thanks everybody for jo joining us. Thank you to the LGBTQ <laughs> Center of Orange County. Thank you to CAP OC. I've had an amazing time. Thanks for educating me, y'all. Thank you, Nomi. Thank you. Get counted. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your baby cousins, tell your lovers, and everyone you know. Share this video and share the love and education. Bye, y'all. Bye, Yuha. Thank you. Bye, Yuha. Thank, Thank you. you. I feel so educated right now. I'm ready to fill out the census. Like, yeah, let's get counted for sure. Bye. Queer bye. the census. Bye. <laughs>